However, after a 1945 vintage uh, aircraft that crashed here in June of 1945 after it lost engine power, it's been in the water here ever since, uh, a little over 65 years, and it was discovered by a fisherman about a year and a half ago. The aircraft, which is an SB2C Curtis Helldiver, uh, it's a pretty rare bird. They built, uh, Navy built maybe 5,000 of them during the war, but uh, there are only a handful left. As a matter of fact, uh, there are three or four in existence anywhere, including this one. And uh, that makes it very rare, of course. Give me a pull on there. At the end of May in 1945, my father was flying a training flight uh, in an SB2C-4 Helldiver, which is a dive bomber that was in the Navy inventory at that time. This particular model of aircraft had some issues with it, uh, among which was uh, they were pretty well known that sometimes the engine would just quit with no warning, and that's what happened. So it had an engine out emergency, and my father uh, didn't have time to restart or was in a, unable to restart, and uh, so he ended up just basically landing the gear in the water. Of course, that was in the end of May 1945. The country was losing a lot of aircraft in combat as well as in uh, training missions, and. So it wasn't a big deal to lose an aircraft, and uh, they just climbed, climbed out and swam ashore and hitchhiked back to town, uh, to the base, and uh, you know, reported the aircraft ditched in the, in the reservoir, and that was the end of the story. And the gunner told me today that a couple of days later they got in another airplane and continued to fly. To have this aircraft uh, going forward to be in the, in the museum where uh, my dad's great-grandchildren, my grandchildren, can go see an aircraft that my dad flew is pretty wonderful.